Hi, it's Miss Tadori from The Cool Classroom, and I wanted to share with you this entrepreneur. This is Jay Rich, and show you um, one of his videos. I kind of chopped it up. Um, it's kind of long, so I wanted to fit it in our class period and have enough time to discuss it. So he joined July 30th, 2017, over 11 million views. Uh, Jerron Richards, he goes by the name of Jay Rich. So he's a 25 year old entrepreneur, investor, mentor, and lifestyle blogger. So here's his story. You can follow him, there's Instagram. He has a bunch of links over here, free courses. This Facebook, Twitter, you can take a look. 271,000 subscribers. Wow. All right, so here's the story. I started from absolutely nothing, so get ready because this is gonna be a ride. So I come from a single mother of three and I'm the oldest of the three. So essentially I had to become a man before I became a boy, becoming a father figure and a good role model for my younger brothers. I grew up in a small three bedroom house with 15 people living in it. So growing up, I was super embarrassed at this situation. I never allowed any of my friends to come to my house because I was embarrassed that they'll come to the house and see everybody living there, everybody crammed up together. I never had my own room. So there was three bedrooms. My grandparents had their own bedroom. And then the second bedroom was shared by my mom and my two aunties. And then the third bedroom was shared with my two uncles. And all the other kids literally had to sleep on air mattress in the living room. So honestly, I'm actually ashamed to say that I was embarrassed with that situation because looking back, I know that we never had our own space, our own room, we were all crammed together. So growing up in a black community, I was led to believe that the only way for you to become successful is if you play ball, you rap, or you sell drugs. I was recognized to be one of the top players in the country for my position, and I received a lot of interest from D1 colleges. And during the summer, right before my junior year, while I was playing travel ball, I actually injured my back. And it was an injury that I didn't really find out to the full extent of it until I was 19. At this point, I was extremely lost and depressed, and I was so unsure about myself because my whole identity was a basketball player. And I was super close to joining the military because I literally did not know what I wanted to do. And at that point in my life, I thought that that was the best option for me. And I said this before and I'll say it again because I know that there's a lot of young athletes out there and people out there that can relate to this type of situation in any way, shape or form. And that is to never attach your identity to just one thing. That one thing can limit you. It could also destroy you if that one thing does not turn out to what you thought it could be. So you told black man, gave him this book and said, if you read this, your life will change forever. And that book was called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And at this point in my life, I hated reading. Like I literally thought it would be the lamest thing in the world to read 300 pages of a book. And I hated school to begin with. So if you would have told me to read a book and not even get any school credits for it, to kind of change that, that because of that, we're conditioned to believe that about other books, which makes us not want to read. But at this point in my life, I was willing to do anything and everything to get out of that dark place and have any chance to have become successful. And I forced myself to read it. And I kept thinking about what the successful black man said, that if you read this book, your life will change forever. So I ended up reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, the whole book all the way through. And I kid you not, at 18 years old, that was the first book that I read all the way through which is pretty embarrassing to say. But after reading that book, just like the successful person said, my life changed forever. It completely changed my whole mindset on basically everything that I was taught in school and everything that I was led to believe about success and money and opened up my eyes to a bunch of different avenues and fields and different opportunities and strategies that you can make money and be successful. You know, learning from people and reading books from people like Jim Rohn, Napoleon Hill, Damon John, Tony Robbins, and many, many others that I can't think of right now to name. And literally from reading those books, it also made me extremely hungry to read more books because I literally thought that at that point, and still to this day, there's so much gold in books. And I really feel like when I read a book, and at that point, that's where it started, that every time I read a book, I kind of unlocked the secret to life and success. And I always wanted to continue to read books to unlock more secrets, kind of like a, a video game. You gotta unlock different levels to go to the next level. And you gotta read this book, unlock the level to go to the next level. So that's how I look at it. For those of you that don't really like reading, if you maybe look at it like that, that would kind of change your perception. But 
literally from just reading that book, my whole life changed and made me an avid reader, which I am to this day. And also to mention during that time, I had a library pass. So I was at the library literally reading all these books for free. And I remember thinking at that time, spending hours and hours every single day at the library reading so many books. And at the end of two months, I read 25 books. And some of those books led me to discover my first business, which was e-commerce, selling things on eBay. So I was buying wholesale items from AliExpress and Alibaba in bulk and reselling them on eBay for triple and quadruple the price. So when I first got started, I was making $1,000 a month and I was working at a warehouse at night. Then I went full time on the business and I went from making $1,000 a month to $4,000 a month. And I ended up saving $20,000 at the end of that next year, which I was 19 years old. And at that point, I thought I was rich. Oh, is it hot in here? So I was selling items on eBay consistently and I was practically living at the post office. I literally had to make multiple trips to the post office every single day, shipping out a bunch of items. And one day this guy sees me with a whole bunch of items being shipped out. And honestly, he was probably watching me before make multiple trips with a whole bunch of items being shipped out. But he comes up to me and says, I should get into drop shipping. And he basically said, it's selling a product without you having to touch the product. So you don't have to ship all these items yourself. So I was super, super intrigued by this because I knew if this thing was true, I could potentially make a lot of money, a lot more money than what I was making at the time with eBay. Because with eBay, if you're buying things in bulk from Alibaba, AliExpress, you're only limited to what you have in stock. So I could only sell what I had in stock. So if I had a bunch of items and whatever those items are worth, whatever price that I'm selling them for, that's the max money that I can make. And the thing about that, every time I sold out, I would have to order again and it would take two weeks for me to get the product. So that was a lot of time in between. So that was a lot of limits to how much money that I can make. But like I said, I thought $4,000 a month was rich. But when I learned that this dropshipping thing exists, I knew that I could make a lot more money because you could virtually sell any product in the world. You don't have to worry about buying them in bulk and them arriving to you. And you have access to a whole bunch of different products for you to sell and make a lot of money. So I literally remember going home and doing a whole bunch of research about dropshipping. And mind you, at this time, there wasn't a lot of information about dropshipping like there is today. So I remember finding the basic information about it, how Shopify is the best platform that's recommended and how you needed to find you know, products for your dropshipping products. And I remember thinking at the time, like, okay, I'm pretty good at finding products because I sell products on eBay and I have to use AliExpress anyway. So I got started right away and everything was still super new to me. And I was spending countless hours on Shopify on my store and everything, trying to learn everything myself. And after a month of countless hours learning everything and getting everything situated, I finally launched a product, which was men's watches. So the watches were being sold on AliExpress for around $3 and I was selling on my store for $15 to $20. And the first couple of months I was learning and testing Facebook and Instagram ads, learning all of this by myself, which again was probably a big mistake. In the first couple of months, I lost money. And I lost a lot of the money that I had saved from eBay. So I was super, super frustrated. And at that point, I was about to give up on dropshipping and go back to eBay, which was working for me at the time. So at this time, when I was about to give up and quit dropshipping, I remember from one of the books that I read, I think it was Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. He was talking about Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. And Thomas Edison had failed over 10,000 times trying to invent the light bulb. But Thomas Edison's perspective was that he said, I did not fail 10,000 times. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. And that changed my perspective. So at that time that I was going to quit on dropshipping, I thought to myself, why would I quit dropshipping? I've not failed yet. I just found ways that won't work. And eventually I will find ways that will work. And that's exactly what I did. So I discovered so many different methods and strategies that didn't work, which also cost me a lot of money. But in the process, I also discovered ways that did work, which was Instagram influencers and theme pages. So I paid this Instagram account $80 and it generated $1,400 in sales in one day. And I was super hyped up about it because I realized how it was possible to generate thousands of dollars online in minutes. So literally later that month, I did $30,000 in sales in one day, which is the most I ever made at that time. And at the end of that month, I did $100,000 in sales, which is my first six figure month ever. So I continue to use the Instagram influencer and theme page strategy, which I still teach to this day. And I was averaging over $100,000 a month for the next two years. So for those of you that do not know, the thing with dropshipping and every other e-commerce business is that you have your revenue, which is your sales. Then you have your expenses, which are your cost of goods, which is the cost of your e-commerce 
product or drop shipping product. You have your advertising costs, which can be your Facebook, Instagram ads, Google ads, Instagram influencers, basically whatever form of advertising that you pay for. Then you have your refunds, your chargebacks, your merchant fees, and your taxes and all that good stuff. So once you deduct that from your sales, that's what you're left with for profit. So my average profit after everything, including taxes, was around 30K to 40K a month. So at the end of the year, I averaged around 300 to $400,000 a year. Now being young and dumb, I spent a lot of money throughout those years. And the money that I wasted was not necessarily on material things or lavish things, because I wasn't really into that. But when I lost money, the majority of the time I lost money was because I was trying to make more money. And what I mean by that is multiple things. So I was testing a whole bunch of different products. And when you test different products, you test your Facebook ads, you test your influencers. It's usually low budget at first. So instead of doing the $5 a day Facebook ads and the cheap micro influencers for testing like I did before, I got overconfident and I wanted to reach success really quickly. I wanted to get the big money really fast. And I was testing literally first product, like the first day of Facebook ad testing, I would do $100 a day. And then for influencers, I would pay $10,000 at first. So needless enough to say, I lost a lot of money doing that. And also I was trying to do so many different business ventures instead of just focusing and honing in on one specific thing that was working for me. Thankfully, I still had some money left over from my dropshipping and e-commerce businesses, but needless to say, I had a whole bunch of different setbacks and I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars because of it. So in 2020, I invested a lot of the money that I had saved up for my dropshipping and e-commerce businesses into the stock market and continued to trade and invest consistently. And I made a lot of money from that and continue to make money from that, which I'm extremely grateful for. On that year in September 2020, I became a millionaire by my personal definition. So I could have easily sold all the stocks and took out a million dollars cash. Now, January 2021, which is only three months later, I hit exactly $1.5 million in my stock market investment accounts, not including my crypto investments and the cash that I had in the bank. So it wasn't until that moment that I decided to take those screenshots, which I'll show right here, because that's when I graduated from becoming a part-time millionaire to becoming a full-time official millionaire. And I was still 23 at that time, and I didn't turn 24 until March of this year. So it's only been five years since I became an entrepreneur, and the stuff that I've been able to do and accomplish in that time has been unbelievable, like moving out at 19 into a luxury apartment, buying my dream car at 20 years old, then buying my mom her dream car, then buying my amazing grandpa a car, the head of the household that had all 15 of us living there. Then teaching my little brother just how to question an e-com, traveling to multiple amazing countries and had the most fun experiences ever. Experiences that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Turn my beautiful girlfriend into my fiance in Paris. Moved to a luxury high rise condo in Miami with an indoor basketball gym and the craziest amenities. Launching everything in one program, literally teaching people everything that I know in detail that has led me to this point in my life from dropshipping, e-commerce, stock market investing, and more. And last but not least, amassed over 200,000 subscribers and reached millions of people teaching them how to make money online. I can honestly say that coming from nothing, when I first started to make money online in e-commerce at 18 years old, even though I was only making $1,000 a month, I was extremely grateful because I truly knew that there was another way other than basketball to becoming a millionaire. And that if I just continue to keep learning, to keep growing, and to keep sharing what I know to give back to help others, that eventually, someday, I would get there. And that someday just so happened to be 23 years old. And I'm literally just getting started over here. This is just the beginning. So I'm super, super excited to continue to share my life and continue to share everything that I know to each and every one of you. And I know a lot of you guys watching this video can relate to where I was five years ago, regardless of what age or what background you came from. And I want you guys to know that whatever dream that you have, whatever goal that you have, is possible. There is nothing in life that is impossible. Some discussion questions. I hope you enjoyed watching that. So one, what do you think of Jay Rich? Two, what advice or tips did you take from watching his video? Three, have you heard of that book he was talking about? Four, what other authors and books did he mention? Five, how did he unlock the secrets to success? Six, what was his first business? Seven, how much did he make at 19 years old? Eight, explain drop shipping. Nine, visit AliExpress.com. Search for a product you think would sell. Why? And last, number 10, what changed his perspective when he was about to quit in dropshipping? Till next time. Thanks. Bye.